What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Garrett and today we are talking about season 7 ending and season 8. Of course, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and use my code GAMEWITHGARY in the item shop for free skins all week long. Tweet me the pictures for the proof and of course the items will just flow in. Now, we have some serious things to talk about when it comes to season 7 and season 8. As you guys know, season 7 is slowly coming to an end as we only have about 12 days left in the season and season eight is right around the corner now we've been having this long battle between the ice king and the fire king the fire king for a long time was imprisoned in the ice king's castle and many of you guys did not know this was even a thing and the fire king is the unlockable skin you can get after completing the challenges in fortnite battle royale the issue here is the fire king is not happy he is not happy with the way he was treated by the ice king so he wants his revenge but the big question is what will the fire king do to the ice king to get his revenge well there's many theories but there is some proof to these theories as for the last few weeks i've been mentioning how the fire king is going to rain upon the map that we love with an earthquake a volcano and now we have some more information. The Fire King is coming with all his might. He's gonna be raining down an absolute hellstorm in Fortnite Battle Royale with tornadoes. That's right, dudes. Now, as you guys know, the Fire King has the ability to manipulate fire, but not only does he have the ability to manipulate fire, he also can create fire tornadoes, it looks like. Now, we don't know exactly how this is gonna happen, but we do have some leaked source code. I wanna share that with you guys. As you guys can see here, the Fire King is hard at work. He's doing his thing. He's calling upon the might of the fire and he's raising all types of hell in Fortnite. Now this location, we have pretty much assumed it's right outside Wailing Woods. And uh, well, he's definitely gonna be doing some kind of ritual. Now, as you can see, he's surrounded by bowls of fire. And in these bowls of fire, he's also be going to do a flame bowl type of thing I don't, i'm not really sure um as these are the flame bowls but it looks as if he's going to be doing some kind of tornado as you guys can see this is straight from the fortnite game files uh leakers have shown us that this is the tornado mesh right here and i don't really uh i don't really know what is going on but it seemed as if he's gonna be summoning some kind of tornado to do his bidding now what does this all exactly mean? Well, a few things. First things first, I believe the Fire King is be taking revenge on the Frost King or Ice King and destroying all of the frozen parts of the map. As you guys know, this whole snowy section of the map was also supposed to come with the drift board. Remember that item, the drift board? Not really sure what happened to it. I had about two hours of recorded gameplay footage as I had early access to the drift board, but unfortunately, uh, I sort of deleted it on accident about two weeks ago and I went to go make a video on it uh, this week and yeah, I, I don't have the footage anymore, but I'll tell you what, it's really fun. <laughs> um, take my word for it. It was really cool while I was able to use it and unfortunately it's, uh, I don't have it anymore. Um, I didn't post it before because I didn't want to lose my creator code as doing those types of things may incur to like you lose your creator code and the creator code is literally how I buy my pizza. So I like pizza. So I don't want to get rid of my creator code. Regardless, I think the, the Fire King is up to no good. So if he is going to be summoning a fire tornado, you can expect a whole revamp of the map that we love. Now, I think season eight is going to be a big shakeup. I think in season eight, we're going to have some really big changes that you may not even be aware about. One of those changes may be the removal or changing of Wailing Woods and Dusty Divot. Now, I don't know exactly how the end battle is gonna look because these are two superpowers going at it. We have the Ice King and the Fire King and they're gonna be going head to head, one on one. Best one survives wins. Now the issue here is Frost versus Fire, depending on which one is hotter or colder, it may put the other one out. So not really sure how this is gonna work, but I do know that the Fire King is not happy with the fact that he was a prisoner of the ice king so let me know in the comment section what do you think the fire king is going to do to the ice king once he summons down his fire 
tornado. Now, I don't know how big this fire tornado is going to be, but I can assume that the fire tornado is going to rip through most of the map. Thus, there's going to be some kind of charred or like there's going to be some kind of like, wow, this is where the tornado went through. Remember what happened in season seven and then season eight will be the repairing and regrowing of those things. Now, the other big question we have to ask ourselves is what is going on with the dragon eggs? Now, as you guys see in the gameplay, I showcased the dragon eggs are no longer there. Throughout the whole entirety of the season, we've talked about these dragon eggs and how excited everyone is for these dragon eggs, but it looks like they're missing. They are gone. We don't know where they are. We don't know what they're doing. And it may very well be that the Fire King is summoning these dragons in that image I showcased. Now, I don't know exactly what is going on with the dragon eggs, but I do know they are missing. Whether they've been moved or they've been hatched, those are two questions we don't know. So let me know in the comment section, do you think that the dragon eggs have hatched? Or do you think they've been moved? Let me know down below because it's a super important question because I think us finding out what is happening with the said dragon eggs will definitely uncover a huge part of the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. If season eight, let me know in the comment section as well, has dragons, will you be upset? That's, we gotta know. I feel like if, if we have dragons in Fortnite Battle Royale, it would be really cool. And the reason why it would make sense for dragons to be in Fortnite during this specific period is because Game of Thrones, the finale, the last season is coming back and guess what that show has? Dragons, that's right. So it is very possible, it is very possible for there to be dragons in Fortnite Battle Royale come this upcoming season, but I don't know how they're gonna be used and what their purpose would be in Fortnite. So all this, let's recap. First things first, the Ice King is a very evil man apparently, unless he's a good guy that was trying to hold back the Fire King, which is actually the evil guy. We don't know which of the two is the evil of the two or the more evil of the two but regardless the fire king is not happy that he was imprisoned for so long if you guys didn't know the fire king was imprisoned in the palace of fortnite for many 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 weeks now he could have been there for years we don't know but we do know is that the fire king was strong enough to melt his frozen bonds and was able to get out of that imprisonment which is a cool thing but also really scary because it shows you how powerful the fire king really is 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 even with all the locks and chains and all those things he had on his face he was still able to break free from the ice king's wrath now we are closing in on the end of season seven getting so close to season eight which by the way you get a free battle pass if you complete all the challenges make sure you guys do them to get a free battle pass and of course now that he's free he wants his revenge but will this revenge come with the dragons or not that's something we're just gonna have to wait to find out about because we don't know exactly what is happening we just know tidbits of information and things that may be happening in the near future with the fire king versus the ice king of course if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy these theory crafting conversations which by the way most of the time i am correct on because i have been really really researching what each season will look like and how they will end and different events that will happen in game and for those of you guys that have been around here for a long time you guys can let the other people in the in the comments i should know that i'm i'm legit dudes all right you guys can check all the other videos where we talked about all the speculation and all the things that we debunked everything that was possible tilt the towers getting destroyed all these things that always come up every single season listen the one thing that remains true is the fire king wants his revenge how he's gonna take that we don't know just yet but of course i'll keep you guys in the loop my name is garrett better known as gaming with gary here on this channel and i will see you guys later on today with a brand new video of course i upload once to two times a day at minimum I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support use code game with gary in the item shop and i will see you guys later today or if not tomorrow with a brand new video and in the comment section use the hashtag hype you watch all the way to the end but i know you're a real viewer and you never know i might add one of you guys if you put your gamer tag in the comment then i can give you a free skin love you dudes I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.